Ooh, what's up guys and welcome to another video from me, this Garander, and today we have definitely a different kind of video, and it's uh, from the Swedish Shamans, actually Hannah Panna, who is a Twitter follower and friend, so make sure to check her out on Twitter, she doesn't have a YouTube channel, but we're both in the NUCL, but in different brackets, I thought I covered her games as the time went on, and looking to her opponent here, we did talk a bit before going in, uh, her opponent does have gore guys, Therefore, we have a very special arc of this game. Though he's not using that, he's going for Arduino, Sock, Sandslash, um, Grumpig, yeah, um, I was going to say Lipard, and Simisage. Quite threatening, a very fast team, and uh, only slow hitters is going to be Grumpig and uh, Sandslash. Um, and Hannah is using Mushana, Pangoro, the X and Y sets, Archeops, Wildplume, Lantern, and Pillowswine. Hmm. Now, I was a bit against Palosvine, but looking to Hana's complete team, it's probably his better choice. He also has Clink Clank, for example, which have been kind of redundant in this game, if you ask me. And of course, a live part with T-Wave is always going to be an issue, uh, therefore Lantern, basically. And uh, the Mushana has a Healing Wish Thunder Wave set, mostly because um, those combinations work really great in, um, in Lee format, or rather lower Lee format, because you can paralyze something, you can have speed next turn, and get momentum out of that. Now, I have not watched this game. Uh, I know how it ends. And bring a cup at the same time. But um, I haven't seen how it all played out. So, with all this in mind, guys, um, also, I should say, maybe, I know kind of a set. Uh, Pangori Scarf's uh, Archeops is, uh, I do believe, Citrus Berry. Um, I assume. Valplum um, is Black Sludge Defensive. And Palace Fine, obviously, Violite. So, really, with all of this in mind, guys, let's go! Also, music! Alright, let's see how this turns out. So, the opponent will start Duop Mate, which is a semi sage. And here comes Tom, which I assume is the Mishana. Huh. Yeah, I'll definitely switch out to all of her. Uh, Lumina is definitely a good call, even though it packs the Grass Knot, you can still deal with that. Now it just packs the Substitute, which is nasty. Uh, so best attack move is Focus Blast. Now, I, it could do damage, but not a whole lot. Um, and Leftovers and all will keep Lantern um, afloat, of course. So, alright, let's see. Of course, I'm gonna break the Sub. Uh, interesting going for Sub here with... Um, this thing, though it has access to Gluttony, I believe, so it's not totally out of the question. Uh, so anyway, the opponent will switch out, and I assume that uh, our Peppa, I think an RTQ and Overground pick, of course, an excellent choice, and there's a T-Wave, very nice call from Hannah. Uh, obviously, T-Wave is not helping a whole lot, but it does stop the Grump pick. Now, Grump pick could access to Heal Bell, that's a thing. Uh, and he, she definitely can't hurt it, so a Scald Burn would be better, but as for now, that you know, that will be fine. That's so, right, she gets some momentum here to actually switch into something better. It's gonna be KV, which means that she's definitely gonna offer Self Rocks. Uh, and there's a Toxic, alright. A little bit surprised about that. Though that, that does work, usually Grumpig uh, has uh, Thunder Wave, but Toxic is also a good choice. Right, I assume, like I said, the stuff is gonna come, and KV. Is not packing any uh, moves that could uh, or get some recovery out of. So Holt is gonna come in, which probably is gonna be the yeah, exactly Sand Slash. Now Sand Slash can knock off this guy, and I don't know what would be a good response here in general, but I will try to switch out at least. Um, thinking that Lantern, no, not Lantern. I'm sorry, Mushonic would be a good choice. Actually, Valplume. Right, so he is actually on to go for rocks. That's kind of interesting. But that does do wheel down them. That, oh wow, he does outspeed though. Sandslash does outspeed, so the Valpum does not have an investment here to avoid that off, though Giga Range should be close enough for killing it. Uh, yeah, most certainly. So I think if I were my opponent here, I'd probably sack off Sandslash here. He could have a potential. Uh, switch in, but it's not worth it. He goes for knockoff um, instead of um, four power here, four power, pure power uh, of being an earthquake. So that's completely fine. And I think the Sandslash did serve its purpose here. And Winter Fresh is definitely the Articuno. It's gonna come in freely now. And uh, my 
my player here, Hannah, really need, 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 need to switch out uh, to Kiwi, right? So Fig Fat. Uh, and Rocks and All is definitely gonna be. I'm not saying this is an ideal switching, uh, though U turn is a very, very, very weird move for the opponent. Free Strike would definitely solve a lot of problems against the opponent here. So. At least we have some opening, and there is that guy. April 65. Oh, yeah, I'm blue. Da, blue tea, da. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> um, I probably sacked the Palace one here. I probably. Probably give that up. Track Buddy is gonna come in. Uh, which Prime Damage here could be in a range where close combat isn't a close of 2 hit KO. If that's banded. And that's definitely banded. Yeah. I kinda fear that. I kinda fear that. That's actually really bad. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. Though, you know, that felt like a stress play from Hannah also. Uh, FX Sport did kick in with a paralyzation. That's helpful. Now, this is definitely her chance of bringing Palace One to get up the rocks. Right? Oh, no, she. Okay. Alright. Um, so, he's gonna withdraw that. Fair enough. Wow, really missing a good opportunity there. So sweet Lilis is gonna come in and Psyche is gonna be immune. That was definitely a very sadly a uh, very oh what do you call it? Um reliable switch in. And of course Encore is always to be accounted for when going against Lifeheart. So she has to get out. And she's gonna lose Kiwi with this play. Oh she's gonna miss the rocks. She's gonna miss the rocks. Ah it sucks. That sucks. That sucks a whole lot, actually. Ooh. So last effort I shot, I believe. But as for now, that's... Um, that's too bad. She really, really should have gone for Rock when she had a chance there when uh, Sol got paralyzed. Because she's not going to get that chance now. She's not going to get the chance. Articuno is now a massive threat. Uh, Lumina is going to come in, of course. Uh, that is definitely going to force out the life probe. She doesn't go for knockout, which she doesn't do. And the thing going to come in is Peppa. Alright, so that's the ground pick again, and there's a Volt Switch, alright, that's gonna do just about nothing again. So Rox is definitely whittle her down, you know, in and out is definitely gonna hurt. So Amada's gonna come in, which of course is the Goro, and um, Amanda, Amanda, damn, better say it in Swedish. <laughs> so right, would you hope for... Um, that she's just gonna lock herself with the crunch. I do believe that's gonna hurt the majority of her team, no matter what she tried to do or my opponent tried to do. Yeah, since, we, since she's scarfed, this is definitely gonna dent her whole team quite roughly here. Though Lipor can paralyze this thing. Uh, oh yeah, Selakberry. Shit, 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 shit. <laughs> All right, so that did not go as planned. So. Um, she brings that one again. Uh, Focus Blast just landed. That is definitely um, in an area where she can be taken out by the next hit. Wow, she actually soaks that very nicely. Now, here's the thing though. My opponent, or the opponent here, not my opponent, would have should have sacked this mod. He definitely should. Uh, he's going to bring back, I believe, Grumpig. Um, that will only lead to... Uh, actually, she doesn't go for Volt Switch, right? Um, I was assuming that that will lead to Pangora coming back in. And to just lock itself at the crunch again. Uh, though, obviously, that did not happen. And uh, she's losing precious momentum here. Now, here's the thing Grumpy could go for Focus Blast. So it's actually kind of risky bringing in Pangoro here. Uh, we'll see what my, my good player does here, Hannah. Goes back to Pangoro. Don't go for Focus Blast and don't land it. Please. That can't happen. Heal Bell. Oh, right. So that that's bad, obviously. That we mentioned that before. Um, oh dear lord, um, she still needs to go for crunch. But now Salk is back. I wonder if Stormfro would be a better option here. But she's just gonna sack off the Simi Sage. And of course, without Valplume or any reliable defensive mod, her Arceus basically became her win condition here. That is probably the only mod that's gonna be breaking through. Um, if I were Hannah here, I'd probably stay in Sack the Pangoro, getting the damage off. Uh, oh, so she switches out? Oh no. 
Right, we're gonna go to Lumina, which means that Mon's gonna be sacked. Um, that is so unfortunate. That is so unfortunate. So right here is Aloha, which of course is the Archeops. Now I do assume this guy can actually scare out the uh, soul quite easily. Yeah. The thing is here, does she go for a heat wave or just a U-turn? Uh, just a U-turn directly. So right, Hannah, this is this is the time you bring your precious Pangoro and you lock yourself onto Stormfro. You just deal with that. You just do that. And that's gonna work itself out. Actually, she's gonna bring Tom. So that's gonna bring the life part in. Uh, don't you have the opportunity to bring... Um, ah, that's okay though, that's okay. That's kind of a bad play from the opponent. Now knockoff will be an area where he could take it out, but we do have the berry to soak that. So T-Wave is gonna be retaliation here, right? Right? No! <laughs> Hannah, no! It did kill though, it did kill, but no! No! That's just gonna leave you open! Oh! Oh god, please live this! Yes! Yes! Now it's time for the healing wish! Or T-Wave! Come on, come on, go for the T-Wave, that would have been awesome right now! Yeah! Yeah! Hell yes! So, Frank's Rancor is a thing, but... Okay, he pulled that off. I would have, I would definitely have switched out there. Alright, but I, I get that, I really do. Um, ah, it's getting close though, it's getting close. She does stay in though, even with... Um, with, oh... You still got a healing wish, you know? Still got a healing wish, alright. Um, the only Pokemon I was speeding is Amanda. That risking the paralyzation right now, and there is no recovery from... Uh, what do you say? From the T-Waves now. There is no recovery from there, and Amanda is gonna get fully paralyzed. Now, hopefully, Stormfro will break through. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, there we go. Now, Grumpig is dead, which means that the only Pokemon left is Articuno, I believe. And um, hopefully, Pangor can take a hit from Articuno and retaliate, but we know, all know Hurricane is gonna finish this game off if uh, that misses. The Stormfro is not an arrow that will be taken out. The opponent goes for Ice Beam. Now that's risky. That's risky, but there we go. Fully paralyzation. Yes. That looks about right. Now here's the worst part. I do believe we're up for not having. Um, I do believe actually this Articuno is uh, scarfed. Think about it. But I don't think we're having a rock move here. I think we're a Beat Wave. And that thing is scarfed. Alright, that's GG. Oh, it's a tough loss though! That's a tough loss! It really is! It really is! I do believe Hannah had a superior all-out team, I'm just gonna shut out the music, but it just wasn't meant to be this time. Uh, I think she did some weird um, sack plays, obviously not going for rocks there when the sock was paralyzed was probably the biggest mistake. Um, because that would have forced her Articuno to be whittled down by this area, if not even dying to last switch in. So that is probably the one that sucks the most. And of course, not going for Volt Switch against Grumpy again, uh, with Lantern went for Scald, um, when it was against, um, Lypart, I believe, in mid-game. And that, of course, up the opponent to actually go for a uh, Heal Bell, which saw the issue of Sork actually getting really, really, really threatening again. Now, I will say this, um, Hannah definitely wasn't in her predictions mood this time around. It definitely looked like it, and uh, she lost Pokemon out of weird place. And uh, it looks like she was really stressed. Um, did um, did a safe place, and that obviously forced the opponent to um, capitalize and use that against her. Obviously, one of those being encoring on every mon that was in. Um, definitely losing Pangora like that, losing the scarf did not really matter as much. Uh, Consider that. Um, since the other mon was scarfed, then she would have been fine anyway. But uh, one Stormfur would definitely be in the area where Articuno would have been kind of dead. I won't deny that fact. But uh, obviously, missing the Stealth Rocks is what makes this game that, the way it is. And it really sucks for Hannah because I do believe she had to win had, he only, had she only Stealth Rock with that position. 
we know that's the game and all. And Hannah overall is a very good battler, so definitely looking forward to her next match. And I'm looking forward for my own match here against the Star Dasher later on. Uh, but yeah, Hannah, good game. And to Voiton, I'm sorry if I don't really know your name here, and I feel bad about it. But also for you, good game. Uh, Semi Sage was could have been a really good game changer. Really, really surprised didn't have Gross not, but then again. Uh, it did turn out well anyway, and not seeing Gore guys in this team was kind of surprising, and uh, I don't know why I didn't have that, but <laughs> anyway, it was a very nice game. I think you both played really well, and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing matches from Hannah and Voiton in the future. So anyway, with that in mind, guys, I want to thank you for watching. Make sure to give Hannah a follow on Twitter if you want to battle her. She is a tremendous battler. I do encourage you guys to challenge her any chance you get. So yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, guys, take care.